Wrestling. There's a link in that description. It's a link tree, in fact. If you click the links in the link tree, things will happen. Things like going to White's Books and buying them from Amazon. Do that. Because White's Books are good. I am not fucking around. They're very good. If you go to one of the other links in the link tree, there's a Patreon. And if you were to join the Patreon, if you were to join us in the trash pile, you would be cool. Because all denizens of the pile are cool. Like Rob, Passion Killer 7-Eleven, and a guy from Ohio. If you give us $5 a month, and please note, that is whatever you want in the month. Because with the new subscription model, you don't lose out on time if you don't subscribe at the first of the month. It just rolls over whenever you started, which is nice. But if you give us that $5, you get episodes of Journey of Wrestling a week early. Not, as I have previously said, a week free. <laughs> They're always free. We don't charge you for these. I appreciate your dedicated and precise enunciation, which is a clear testament to your respect for the English language and not an attempt to pad the runtime of our program. You're not supposed to tell them! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize they shouldn't know about your love for words. <laughs> oh. But anyway, we're doing wrestling now. We're doing wrestling now. Uh... One show to No Way Out. Is this the show? I forget how that works. This is the last one. Yeah, this no is the go-home show. Yeah. It's gotta happen. They gotta finally do it! Yes! <laughs> We've done it before. It's, I know, but shut up. Uh, okay. Um, Con and Raven. Wow, they've got a lot of staleness. That got hot fast. That got hot fast, got so hot fast. depending on how things go. What did they even do last week? They were in a tag match. They were in a tag match. That's right. Um, yeah, a promo sounds like a good idea. Um, no, I think they were in a promo. This is a go-home show, bro. Yeah. Contract signing. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Contracts. There it is. Cool. That can main event. Um, mm, this is a question. Uh, what's up, pal? So, we can't blow the feud off at the pay-per-view because we don't know if WrestleMania is the next month. But if... And if we don't, and if it's not, then I don't want to blow that feud off, right? But if WrestleMania is uh, next month, we're going to have a feud that we didn't blow off at the pay-per-view that we kind of got to, like, blow off at the first Raw. <laughs> yeah, that that would be weird if we had to blow off a feud on Raw. Yeah. That, that never happens. Nope. Um... <laughs> I think what should happen now is a new feud between the best friends and the Dudleys. Because the Dudleys hate it when people don't bully. So. <laughs> God, you're just trying to kill all our tag teams. Uh, now the best friends are going to get injured. <laughs> uh, Rever double reverse bullying. Anti-bullying. <laughs> double reverse bullying. Perfect. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> when 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 fucking one of the members of the best friends gets injured, I want you to know. Oh, that's the wrong feud. Um, please continue. I want you to know that I'm upset, but also amazed. You just click the same feud again. It's the same two. I picked the wrong feud. They have multiple feuds going. I guess. Okay. Well, fuck. Um, feud blow off. Mutual respect. It doesn't let me pick. Did it replace one few? Oh, because it didn't kick off. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. That's, you got to, we, we, that was the blow off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think because we meant to start the feud at that time, and it didn't go off that way. Who knows? I, who knows? It, it, it's like playing a card game and trying to figure out what's on the stack first. Uh... El Samurai and Phineas. They need promo time. Well, this this would be their blow off match because the TV title is not defended at the pay per view. True, true, true. So let's 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 finish this. Add blow off after all these years. God, 
after all this time, ma- that's the main event. That's that's the main event. Sure, that's fine. It's eight I'm months. It's been eight months. Um. Okay. Oh, Mark Henry's got a strong stuff. Mark Henry's got a strong stuff. Soon your time will come. God. When Mark Henry wrestles one fucking wrestling match, and it's the main event of WrestleMania, and he gets injured in it. (laughs) Can't think of a more perfect note for us to go out on. Um, Okay. Matt Hardy's hardcore tour continues. Who's he fighting? Ivory. That's a good person for him to fight. Um, Street fight? On a pole. Enter object on the pole. Judy Bagwell. (laughs) Do not! Do not book a Judy Bagwell on a pole match. Barbed wire Judy Bagwell! Oh, I hit generate. It says action figure about Hardy. Gotta fix that. Barbed wire Judy Bagwell on a pole. There we go. Book it. It's the new main event. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, let's let's get... Maybe I can stop being stupid. Let's get CM Punk a win. Look how over he is. Look how sad his morale is. Um, who can he beat? I was thinking maybe Flash Flanagan is on his level. Or... Vampiro. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, fam. Whoever I pick, you're going to have CM Punk lose. <laughs> what are you talking Look, okay, China. China's overness and morale are fine. <laughs> she can take a loss to CM Punk. This it's is, fine. This is bullying. <laughs> you're bullying. I'm double reverse bullying. Your comments have hurt my dog's feelings. <laughs> I'll sue. Uh... The fuck else is going on here? Pierre Ule and Draws should be friends. You know what? Draws should join the flock. Just, just fuck it. Yeah. Okay. And that'll be really menacing because, like, what are you gonna do now, Akana? We have Draws. It's gonna win anyway. I'm mean, kind <laughs> I'm really happy for you guys or whatever, but yeah. I'm... The flock. A new uh, member. Faction. Add faction members. Um, draws, draws. Look, sweet. Let's uh, add producer focus. No, but let's add a producer focus here. There we go. <clears throat> okay. What do the little A's mean? Uh, alternate attires. Oh, Mark Henry has alternate attires. I guess I don't know. Fun. Um, okay. That's all good. Let's get one other match in there. Just the little guys, you know. Um, Crash. Can beat up Scott Steiner, right? Yeah, look at that. He needs the win. I still don't know where the fuck Flash Flanagan came from. We accidentally recruited him. Funny. Like, we had some sort of token. Ah. And it got us Flash and I think Kenny Omega. Well, worth it. Yeah. Or maybe that was the one I accidentally was like, yeah, send him to the show. And it, it, I mean, it did. Yeah. Our truth or whatever. Uh, okay, looks great to me. Everything here looks good. Yep. Sweet play. I, I guess. Makes me nervous when you ask that. Yeah, everyone loved that. Yeah. Yeah, he's, his, his popularity went up. Everyone else's popularity went up. Everyone was like, yeah, fucking fund it. That sounds great. The flock is back to full strength. Hey, that was okay. They should put on different clothes. Nope. Fuck them. Mark Henry bends all their clothing options and they're not allowed. Yep. He's strong, but sorry. All right. I'm going to click it. You're not. I can't decide what would be funnier. Nah, you see, because I haven't played into your bit, it's made it a situation where both options are equally funny. It's actually never a bit. I always had faith in you, my friend. <laughs> It was a really good match, because, uh, you know, Punk's a really good wrestler when he's not falling to pieces. 
This is this is a, this is a young punk yeah, who's not who's not old and yet. bitter yet. Yeah. He's young and bitter. He never has not. That's you know what? That's fair. <laughs> CM Punk is the character that Eddie Kingston plays. Oh shit! That actually might be literally true. <laughs> uh, right, the Dudley Boys hate the best friends. Okay, double off, reverse bullying. Yeah, it went off, the feud exists. <laughs> it was a hot match. That happened. They fought. Two hundred and three. Jesus. Uh, who is going to win the barbed wire Judy Bagwell on a pole match? You think, who do you think? You think Matt? You think Ivory? I, I don't know. Should I just hit simulate? I, uh, Ivory's morale is worse. Yeah, that's true. Matt's is doing pretty good. He's got extreme emotions. And Ivory, it's just good. It's good. I, I don't simulate. I don't all right, know. All right. Judy Bagwell wins. I, I, I think we win. <laughs> Grabbed the barbed wire Judy Bagwell off the pole, defeating Matt Hardy. Good for her. I bet you it was uncomfortable her. up yeah, there. Yeah, with all that barbed wire on her. Uh, oh. New signing. Um, I mean, Raven should stand tall here. Yeah, he's gonna, he's not going to fucking win at the baby. He brings in... He literally brings in his new... I know we had it earlier in the thing, but... Like, the flock is... is uh, Raven uh, starts the fight. Uh, Kana's beating him back. The other members of the, the other, you know, live member of the flock comes in and Rave, and Connor's beating them both, and then Draw shows up in a surprise, and then they add him. I mean, he's been keep zero on, months. Yeah, no. That's, yeah. Look, gotta keep the streak alive. We finally got Phineas yes. over. I'm not ruining it now. He finally legitimately won over El Samurai. There was nothing weird about it. And 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 uh, Slail Samurai is no longer over after being treated pretty mediocrely by us for a year. He's finally no longer over. Yeah. So that's fine. Hey, what do you know we're winning? Um all right. Uh Thunder. Thunder. Wow, it's it's happening. It's it's uh one show to no way out. Eddie Guerrero versus Gold Dust. What do we have? Do we sign a contract over here too? I mean, this we it's a different show. Yeah, it's fine. We'll start the show with it. I and like it. It just goes off as normal. We'll ignore whatever the fuck the text says. Uh, like they just do it. There's not a fight. Uh, yeah. Eddie refuses to bring the title, so Gold Dust gets on the mic, and he was like, "I was, I was just gonna steal it back, but um." You outwitted me on that one. Eddie goes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's what I would have done. <laughs> and then they then they go, you know what? That's fair play to you, Rogue. Uh, as you both this is at, at this point I'm just impressed. And then they shake hands as as scheming bastards. <sighs> Alright. Uh Jackie versus Kurt. Ooh, what if they had like a tense stare down? They looked each other in the eyes. And Jackie rips off his mask. And underneath his energy mask, it's another smaller Kurt Angle. <laughs> uh, there it is. Stare down. They may have already done it. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. Uh, oh, I had a cool idea for Bonestorm vs. Millennium Dragons. Okay. Um, what if they, like, uh, attacked them at an unexpected time? Oh, fuck, that's really good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Okay, and then uh, Billy Gunn versus Lita, and the rest can all be wrestling shit. So, um... <sighs> all right. Nah, Catchphrase Showdown's pretty good. Yeah, catchphrase yeah. showdown. They have a cooking competition. <laughs> Okie dokie. That leaves us with Tanahashi versus Omega, which is finally getting where it probably belongs. Uh, Medusa versus Norman Smiley. Hmm. You know what we haven't done in a while? What haven't we done in a while? Day in the life. Yeah? 
Think we need some more promos for the show? I agree. <laughs> I don't even know for Norman. I just we haven't done it in a while. Maybe maybe day in the life of Brandon Dandelson. Sure, and we'll add a producer focus to it. Poor bastard just really fucking guffed that fucking. Yeah, we just need to see him eating like a vegan cheesecake, which is just a block of tofu. Because this is this is the uh, this is two thousand one. It's not it's not good back then. Vegan food was not good. No, it, it's good now. Yeah, it's it's tasty. I order it All sometimes right, so just to order. Wrestling. Now nah, let's just play the show. <laughs> <laughs> Could you fucking imagine? Yeah, we did it once. It uh, didn't go well. No. Kenny Omega. Hiroshi Tanahashi. And Hiroshi Tanahashi. Um. Name of the feud is Fight Forever. Yeah, I, maybe Kenny can win this one. Okay. And then we can, like, simulate the last one or something. Uh. There was someone else who needed a win last week, right? Probably. Like X Pac or Christian. X Pac 03. X-Pac, he can beat up beloved Farouk. I don't want him to, but that's probably a good idea. Farouk is also 0-3. Just oh, is he? Out, just put oh, him out there. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. X-Pac can beat up... No, Gangrel's not doing good either. Who's doing good? It always seems this way. Like, we end up with no nobody with any winning streak except, like, two people. Christian? Yeah, I suppose he could get his, match, his win back against Christian. It's not really a feud. They're just sort of fighting each other. Um, and then Farouk can get a win. He's a face over Kane. Kane's been doing pretty well. Yeah, all right. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Norma Smiley and Medusa is what we need to run. Oh, wow. Medusa needs to win hard. Yes, yeah, she does. Going into the pay-per-view. Um, yeah. We'll just, it's, we're running two Fight Forever feuds. Just, just... All right. Uh, that seems like a balanced card, just the way it is. Don't need to change anything. Sure. <laughs> I'm honestly a little curious to see if it would notice. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'm almost positive it doesn't matter. And yet... And yet... You're about to... I'm, I'm gonna fix it, because Jesus. Okay, we wanted to start the show with this. Because nothing happens. Uh, Kane versus Farouk, that's your main event. Um, hmm... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We could do... With one more match... We got space for it. We sure do. Hey, Crash Holly, what are you up to? Who do you want to fight? You're a neutral? You can fight anybody. Why don't you fight another neutral? Scott is up one, so really Tell my wife I said work. hello. <laughs> You're married? No. It's uh, the neutral planet. It's a Futurama joke. It's very... You get married in the future? Just play the show. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad after all these years you still want to do this show with me. Uh, I'm going to say Gold Dust wins this for the sake of the segment. Um, okay, Medusa needs a win real bad. Cool. What what is he up to? What's he doing? It worked. He practiced okay. his wrestling ability. He literally just training. Just, That's perfect. Uh, That's fucking God. perfect. I guess simulate. Yeah. Crash Holly had a d- drug habit. Did anybody ever make a joke about him using that giant scale to weigh all his drugs? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, it's too bad everyone, anyone ever made that joke. Scott won. I hit simulate. Okay. That makes sense. One of them, Scott's significantly more over. Oh, man. Hot segment. 211. This is fantastic. <laughs> it's phenomenal. This is better than The Undertaker versus Triple H. Uh, I mean, given the kind of feud, like, all right, at, at this point, it is indisputable that the hottest feuds in this version of the WWE are a man and a woman having some sort of wacky fucking confrontation over the course of months. <laughs> yes. It has worked so many times now. Absolutely. It's just like clockwork. 
And Fruit gets a win. And that was our main event. Done and done. 57 bucks. We're, uh, we're getting too good at this, man. We're efficient. Yeah, efficiency. That's not good. What's the... Uh, what's, before we before we go, are there any cleanups to do? Because next episode's just going to be the pay-per-view, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got event effects. Um, Street fight. And potentially steel cage. That's okay. good. What cleanup are we talking about? Like any side stuff we have to do? No, as a fine answer. No, I don't think we do. I, we're, we're doing great. Dope! We're actually very good at this this game. You know why? Why? Sam Punk.